Hello, Bruce here, greenhouses.com. Today with three quick tips on how to choose a greenhouse kit. You know, there's lots of different frames, styles, and coverings with greenhouses, and it can kind of be confusing. So, but there's basically three, you know, quick ways to kind of determine, you know, put you in the right direction for picking out the right greenhouse. Number one is what do you want to grow? You know, that's the most important question you have to ask yourself. What is it that I want to grow? Now, once you figure that out, the number two is, you know, how does that compare to your climate? Uh, for example, if you want to grow tropical plants and you live in a very cold climate, that's going to have a, you know, the main effect on what type of greenhouse you're going to want to get. If, for example, you're going to want to get something with a real thick polycarbonate. You're going to want to say a 10 mil polycarbonate instead of a 4 mil polycarbonate. You're also going to want a steeper roof uh, because in a cold climate you're probably going to get more snow and you're going to want a stronger frame. So, you know, that's how, uh, you know, depending on what your climate and what you want to grow, especially if you're going to want to grow throughout the entire year, um, that's how that tropical and cold climate is going to affect you. Now, um, if you're in a hot climate, then you're going to really need to look at ventilation and watering systems and, you know, figure out what greenhouse is going to have the best uh, ventilation and is it going to have the type of frame where you can attach the ventilation and the watering systems that you're going to need to keep a greenhouse working for you in a real hot climate. And now the third thing we're going to look at uh, when we're picking out our greenhouse is how much space do you need. And some of that kind of goes back to what do you want to grow. Uh, for example, if you're going to be growing a lot of climbing plants that are going to grow up pretty tall, well then you're going to want a greenhouse with real high sidewalls. Um, you know, where a lot of the greenhouses, you know, say they have the same wall up above here, but some of them have a peak where they come down pretty steep and have a very small sidewall. If you're going to want to grow a lot of climbing plants, you're going to want one with a maybe less peak or even, you know, same peak but a much taller roof so that you have a little more room to work on your sidewalls. Now also, if you're going to want to have, you know, a potting bench and some storage, those are the sort of things that are going to make you want to go with a longer greenhouse. That's going to give you more wall space on both sides, and that's going to let you put in, you know, maybe storage, a place to put a wheelbarrow, a place to keep your potting soil, and your actual potting bench itself. And that kind of brings us to just, you know, this is, it goes for everyone. You want to get something a little bit larger than you think you need. Uh, almost universally, everyone buys their first greenhouse, and they buy for what they think they're going to need, and then they quickly get inside of it and go, man, I wish this was bigger. You know, even when you get a big one and you have extra room, you can always find something to put in it. For example, a hot tub. Man, hot tubs work great in greenhouses during the winter. So, you know, those are the three things. Figure out what you want to grow. Make sure that, you know, your climate's going to work for what you want to grow, or at least you're going to be able to buy a greenhouse that's going to let your climate work for you. And number three, figure out how large and how long and how tall the sidewalls need to be for the greenhouse to do what it is you want to do with your greenhouse. So there you go. Three quick tips, or at least three fairly quick tips, on choosing the right greenhouse.